Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a mixed bag of solar conditions going on today. Little rain, little sun. Never know what you're going to get. All in all, not too bad though. Definitely catching some solar. So back here in the utility room for the the main house and on that video I posted a few days ago and said that this EP Ever MPPT 40 amp solar charge controller went kaput and I had thought I had diagnosed that properly so to get that 500 watt string back online as quick as possible I put in this Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller and it's a bigger one MPPT 150 amp controller I dropped it in updated the app flipped on the solar panels after getting everything hooked up and guess what I saw I saw the same exact voltage coming through this as was going through the EP ever about 12 13 volts zero amps coming in and I'm telling you my heart sank on that and I was frustrated and confused and just could not believe what was happening. I thought it had to be the charge controller the way I diagnosed it. So I'm going to walk you through my flawed logic in hopes that my mistake will help some of you from not making one. So for a couple of days uh, while I was trying to diagnose that, and find out exactly what the problem was. I was running around with a multimeter and checking absolutely everything possible. And here's the, uh, that top string panel isolator for 500 watts. I was testing the voltage coming in, coming out of here. And then on the EP ever, I was testing it up on these uh, inputs as well and I could never get the proper voltage and never did see a single amp coming into the system and I took that opportunity to say well okay it's done I went out to the string of panels and tested those and I would see oh about 60 volts give or take it fluctuated a little bit so I just naturally assume that the the array was fine even though the amount of voltage varied somewhat I thought well that should be enough to be pushing some amps through the line but it was not and I never did see any so as excited as I was when I hooked this up when I did and it did the exact same thing let me tell you the air quickly dropped out of my sails and I just thought well now what could be the problem and I mean I went outside and I crawled on my hands and knees for every inch of the line coming into the house thinking I must have had a breach in the line somewhere spent time on that everything looked fine I mean I went back and checked everything many many times everything was fine but I could not get this to work either So it was that top string uh, that was connected to that EP ever and then subsequently the Victron and I had tested the ends these are tied in series and I tested the the ends you know one end and one end where they're all tied in strings coming out to here and I disconnected underneath went in there with the multimeter and I would always get that 60 volts or so so I just said well 
that string is working perfectly. Not a problem with it. So where is the problem? And I could not get that charge controller to work either. So then what I did is I started, I crawled underneath this array here and I disconnected every single panel, which I had not done before because I had made the error of thinking there was nothing wrong with this string. I tested this one first. It was showing, oh, 18.7 volts. Perfect, perfect for the panel. They should have all been that. The second one, luckily, the second one uh, showed like one volt. And I just went, oh my gosh, there's the problem. And while I was under there, I tested the last three in the string. Every one of them was at their uh, rated output, about 18.7 volts. So luckily I had a spare panel. I pulled that one out, dropped this new one in, hooked it up, full voltage. So this was the culprit right here. I had one panel that has gone bad. I have, and what I did was, you know, I took the, the trusty multimeter, tested the ends of that. The open circuit voltage on this, 19.83. A lot of them, all of those were reading near that, 18, high 18 volts, 18.8, whatever, but it was this one. Now I haven't popped this open to see if there's anything visible in here that can be replaced. I didn't uh, get that far yet. It is this panel that's flawed. I'll, I will see if I can repair that simply, but I just needed to get that 500 watts of power back on immediately. And once I replaced this panel with a new one and tied up that string again. I ran back into the house and I'll show you what it looks like. And just to show you when I drop the the handy Kai Wheats pin style multimeter that I had carried around in my pocket for days testing everything you can see now when I try to or when I test this panel 0.13 8 volts, something definitely wrong with that panel. I'll try and diagnose that at some point, take that apart in hopes to see that something is obvious. So that was the problem, a single panel, and I was just so stuck on the fact that it had to be the charge controller. So here we are on the Victron app now. Uh, that 500 watt array, of course the clouds are moving through. Uh, pumping in 170 watts and fluctuating wildly as the uh, the clouds are rolling through. But here's the thing right there. Voltage coming through 70, uh, 70 volts roughly and fluctuating, of course. Uh, I got it tied up yesterday, pumped in a ton of power. I even saw that string making more than 500 watts. Quickly got this chin system back up to snuff. We're sitting at about 68% right now. And it's early in the day, so it should be a, a decent charge. And then you can see now another cloud kind of opens up. It jumps right up. But as soon as uh, those clouds get out of the way, if they do, uh, it's going to be great. So I learned a lesson. I jumped the gun a little bit. Uh, the good news is, is now um, this, which is still working fine, and I did test that to make sure it was still working fine. There was never a problem with that. I jumped the gun on my diagnosis, made an improper diagnosis by not being patient. And that's the fan coming on of the inverter. And here's the bottom string pumping about the same amount of volts, 60 volts. It'll jump up and down like they do. Pumping 25 amps into the system. So I've got both strings working perfectly. 
and I've got redundancy now. <laughs> if a charge controller goes out, I've got a backup. I will save this EP ever uh, that has been working fine. And it was my misdiagnosis that uh, made me jump the gun on getting a new controller. But honestly, I always planned on upgrading this system with Victron. I am glad to have this in here. It's working perfectly. I, uh, upon installing it, all I had to do was upgrade the, the firmware, which you usually do on these to get the latest firmware that's available. Uh, that went through easily, and then it was up and running once I replaced that solar panel. So, got a Victron, an EP Ever, and as you can see now, how it fluctuates with the way the clouds roll through here. Combined at the moment, 27 amps, 29, there we 32. That just shows you how it is out here with those clouds that float by. Get a lot of that intermittent sunshine. All in all, with the fast tracking of these MPPT charge controllers, it's going to be a decent charge day. And I'm likely to get at least up into the 80th percentile today, which is just great for these chins. So, yeah, it was all about the voltage. And one panel, one panel destroyed the string or made it to where I thought it was a much bigger problem than it was. And that's what those clouds look like. You can see that's why I get the fluctuation, which is a great reason to use an MPPT controller for conditions like this, which are actually fairly common out here. But now with a, a thousand watts back online, I, I'll keep the house bank up into great shape. So had to share that with you guys. I'd made the diagnostic error, but all in all, I'm in good shape. Aloha. Yeah, it's a pretty nice day, really.